Yo yo, we are back in After Effects and today we'll be going over this simple transition. I like to call it freeze frame slide transition with those echoes in the background. So without wasting any more time, we in After Effects and I have these two clips right here. One is on slow mo in the end. You don't really need the slow mo but it looks cool though. So to start off, we will duplicate our second layer and turn it into a freeze frame by right clicking, going into time and just hit freeze frame freeze frame and it will freeze frame your layer right here you can see and then just slide it in like that into another clip i recommend creating the freeze frame quite long so the animation looks smooth now we will separate our subject from the background to do it you can just rotoscope out your clip out your freeze frame i mean but for now i'm going to use pen tool and do it manually like this it doesn't really have to be perfect you can just eyeball it to your liking and after that you can see i just masked him out really quickly so again selecting your free swim layer hit p to bring up the position and we're going to create the animation right here position animation so to do it hit the stopwatch in your position and check the screen frame and put it at last last frame right here you can see i put it in here and go over to first frame again and using my position i'm going to just slide it in in the left direction you can do it on whatever direction you want but in my case i'm going to do it on the left so after you've done that select your keyframe and f9 to easy ease and go into graph selecting those go into graph if you are in value graph come to speed graph and then just create a simple graph like this as you can see it makes it much more smooth but if you really want to get the best possible smooth result go again into the graph and here you can see separate dimension just click that and it will separate your dimension so let's just go out and easy is these and go into graph again and selecting my x position we can just pop into value graph and create a graph something like this this will be much smoother than that much more faster as well so let's just create something like that yeah that looks smooth uh, i'm gonna bring up the duration more and selecting my both keyframe i'm gonna hit alt in my keyboard and just drag it so it dragged evenly and right there that looks pretty cool and to make it more smooth just turn on your motion blur and it will give it that clean motion blur that we want maybe like something like end it right here so our slide transition is done if you really want to add on this you can add like an exposure too in the beginning and just keyframe it uh two to zero so it like flashes in as it comes if you really want mm, let's just do like that yes sir. after that to create those echoes just duplicate your layer and just pre comb this freeze frame right here and then add like a simple echo into it set the numbers of echoes to like nine or something like that and set the echo operator to something like composite front or you can just play with all of these like blend if you want you can also go with like maximum if you want it also looks pretty cool uh, for now let's just go with composite front and it will make this really cool like duplication you can see behind it to fade it in what you have to do is go over to decay and lower it down a bit like over 60 that looked really smooth right there our slide is done but the transition look still looks really choppy as you can see to spice it up and make it all smooth we're going to use a shake so let's just create an adjustment layer real quick and i'm going to use my shake pack to do this if you don't already know i have a shake pack which allows you to add those insane shake into your video and in my website i'm running a crazy bundle with my shake pack and my 3d title pack so you are getting two packs for the price of one so if you want to check that out the link will be in the description so let's just open up my animation preset for now I'll go to user preset go to shake pack and here let's just go into sd because my comp is sd right now and we're going to use the best one as always open up all the keyframe line it up and you can just make the transition a bit shorter if you want like that or you can like trim it till here only that and now we can see after adding the shake the energy it gives it looks really cool so my final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram check out my digital store so yeah see you in next day peace